Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on measures of variation. Our objective is to find and interpret the mean absolute deviation for a data. What you'll learn in this lesson, if we were to make two headings, is mean absolute deviation and standard deviation. And in our real world link, a restaurant asked the staff to record the number of people who order the special each day. The table shows the number of specials ordered per day. So day one, one, or 26, day two, 25, day three, 30, four, 32, five, 27, six, 28. Plot the data on the graph provided. All right, so one, 26, two, 25, three, 30, four, 32, 5, 27, and 6, 28. Find the mean of the data set. Well, if we add 26, 25, 30, 32, 27, 28, and divide by 6, we would get 28. Complete the table by finding the absolute value of the difference between the mean and each data value in the set. So if the mean is 28, in day one, 28 minus the 26 would get us two. 28 minus 25 gets us three. 30 minus 28 is two. 32 minus 28 is four. 28 minus 27 is one, and 28 minus 28 is just zero. Now, find the average of the values for the difference from the mean in the table. Well, if we were to go two plus three plus two plus four, plus 1, we would get 12. And to take 12 divided by the 6 days is 2. And what we did right there is the process of finding mean absolute deviation. You take your mean, you take the data values, you find how far away each of those is from the mean, and you calculate the mean of that. So for mean absolute deviation, you have used measures of center to describe the middle of a set of data, and you have used range to describe the spread of variation of a set of data. Another way to describe the variation of a set of data is to use its mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation of a set of data is the average distance between each data value and the mean. So in real world example one, the table shows the heights of the first eight people standing in line to ride a roller coaster. Find the mean absolute deviation of the set of data. Describe what the mean absolute deviation represents. Step one, find the mean. We're going to take these, add them up, divide by eight, and get a mean of 56. Step two, find the absolute value of the differences between each value in the data set and the mean. So it's written as the absolute value 52 minus 56, 48 minus 56. All these values are going to be positive. So you can see this is 4 away from the mean, 8 away from the mean, 4 away from the mean, 1 away, 3 away, 2 away, 2 away, and 6 away from the mean. Step 3, find the average of the absolute values of the differences between each value in the data set and the mean. So we're going to take these, 4, 8, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 6, and add them up, and then divide by 8 again. And we have 3 and 75 hundredths. The mean absolute deviation is 3 and 75 hundredths. This means that the average distance each person's height is from the mean is 3 and 75 hundredths inches. So if we now go to our got it example on the following page. The number of points that Samantha scored in five basketball games was 8, 14, 10, 7, and 13. Find the mean absolute deviation of the set of data. Describe what the mean absolute deviation represents. Well, if we follow our page 710, our first step is to find the mean. So we're going to take 8, plus 14, plus 10, plus
plus 7 plus 13. And we're going to divide by how many games there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 games. Our sum is 52. So 52 divided by 5 gets us a mean of 10 and 4 tenths. Step 2 is to take the absolute value of the differences between each number and the mean. So we could take the absolute value of 8 minus 10 and 4 tenths, the absolute value of 14 minus 10 and 4 tenths, the absolute value of 10 minus 10 and 4 tenths, the absolute value of 7 minus 10 and 4 tenths, and the absolute value of 13 minus 10 and 4 tenths. This gets us 2 and 4 tenths, 3 and 6 tenths, 4 tenths, 3 and 4 tenths, and lastly, 2 and 6 tenths. So now our last step is to take those numbers, 2 and 4 tenths, 3 and 6 tenths, 4 tenths, 3 and 4 tenths, and 2 and 6 tenths, and divide by those 5 games. We end up with 12 and 4 tenths divided by 5, which is 2 and 48 hundredths. Now to describe what the mean absolute deviation represents, we can write a statement such as the average distance each data value is from the mean is 2 and 48 hundredths points. Now as we look back up here at standard deviation, the standard deviation of a set of data is a calculated value that shows how the data deviates from the mean of the data. In a given set of data, most of the values fall within one standard deviation of the mean. So if the mean of a set of data is 21, and the standard deviation is 3 and 5 tenths, then most of the values fall between 21 minus 3 and 5 tenths, which is 17 and 5 tenths, and 21 plus 3 and 5 tenths, which is 24 and 5 tenths. So you can see where we have our mean, and then we subtracted the standard deviation to get the 17 and 5 tenths, added the standard deviation to get 24 and 5 tenths, to get this range here that is called plus or minus one standard deviation from the mean. It is a measure of variation. And so as we look into guided example two now, the standard deviation of quiz scores for class A is about one and two tenths. Describe the quiz scores that are within one standard deviation of the mean. Our first step is to find the mean. So if we were to add nine, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, seven, ten, eight, eight, and divide by the number of scores there are, 12, we result in 8 and 25 hundredths. That's our mean. We're told the standard deviation is 1 and 2 tenths, and so quiz scores that fall between 7 and 5 hundredths and 9 and 45 hundredths are within one standard deviation of the mean. As we took our mean and subtracted the 1 and 2 tenths, and took our mean and added the 1 and 2 tenths to come up with that range. Now to answer the got it question that is similar to this example, the standard deviation of quiz scores for class B is about 1 and 9 tenths. Describe the quiz scores that are within one standard deviation of the mean. Well our first step here is to actually calculate the mean. So we need to add up all these scores, so 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7 plus 9, plus 7, plus 9, plus 7, plus 
8 plus 10 plus 10, all divided by the number of scores that we have, and that would be 12. The sum of these scores is 90. And dividing by 12, we get a mean of 7 and 5 tenths. Step 2, then, is to take that mean and subtract and add the standard deviation of 1 and 9 tenths to get our range. So we are first going to take our 7 and 5 tenths and subtract the standard deviation of 1 and 9 tenths. And that nets us a result of 5 and 6 tenths. Then we can take our mean of 7 and 5 tenths and add the standard deviation of 1 and 9 tenths, which gets us a result of 9 and 4 tenths. So for our final answer, we can write that quiz scores that are between 5 and 6 tenths and 9 and 4 tenths are within one standard deviation of the mean. And that is it for this lesson on measures of variation. We have found and interpreted the mean absolute deviation for data and worked with standard deviation. Good luck.